Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Today we're taking a look at Rabbids Party Legends, a brand new Rabbids Party game. It's been a while since the last one, I think. These used to be really popular and really common, but since you know there's been other Rabbid games like Mario and Rabbids, which is a new one coming out soon, they haven't been doing the party games too much, but it looks like they're finally back here with this game. I haven't really played too many of these Rabbids Party games, so this will be interesting to check out. So with that being said, let's get started with Rabbids Party Legends. Okay, so it looks like the Rabbids are getting into trouble like normal. We must start the story of Journey to the West here when the Monkey King was born from a magical stone. Whoa. He ruled over his tribe at the Flower Fruit Mountain. He learned various skills and did many enchanted items, all of which shaped his destiny and allowed him to become a god of the Celestial Empire. But it all fell apart. The Awakened One imprisoned him under the Five Finger Mountain. 500 years later that he was rescued by Tripitaka, they traveled west where they met Pigsy and Sandy along their journey. Together they overcame many trials and tribulations before arriving at Lay-In Temple to receive the enlightenment from the Awakened One. Oh no. Uh-oh. Where are they going now? Oh gosh, here we go again. Suddenly, a bright light flashed across the sky. It was a Suds Queen 5000 washing machine. <laughs> Amidst the chaos, the sacred books fell to the land of the living. Rabbits flooded from the washer, which had a large cubic foot capacity. Oh my gosh. The awakened one waved his hand. He trapped the washing machine under a magic bell. He sent the rabbits to the land of the living. Gather the sacred books, and I will return your washing machine. Oh my. So it looks like they're following the same logic with Mario and Rabbids, where Rabbids are sort of getting combined with different worlds. This time, Journey to the West. So that's really interesting. So there's different modes. You have Adventure Mode, Party Mode, and then some settings. So I guess we'll start with Adventure Mode and sort of see what this game's all about. And of course, if we enjoy our first video here, maybe we could turn this into a full series. You guys can always let me know. But let's get started. So I guess we have, whoa, a ton of different characters here. We have like uh, Rabbit Tripitaka, Rabbit Monkey King, Pigsy, Sandy, Iron Fan. It keeps going and going. I think we'll just choose the first character, Tripitaka, and I guess everybody else will be random. Because it is a party game, of course, very similar to Mario Party, but we have Solo, battle it out with everyone. Your teammate is randomly picked for two versus two games, or team up. Team up to battle the other team. Choose the teammate, your team remains the same, even if two versus in two versus two games. We'll do this one. Act one, win the most sacred books. Sure. Whoa. Now the rabbits loved their washing machine. So they remembered what the awakened one said. If you want your high efficiency washing machine, return my sacred books. The ground rushed to meet the rabbits. Below them were four stone eggs. Whoa, okay. Four stone eggs. Rabbits journey to the last. This is so neat. So I guess we have to make our way through all of that. We have a lot of work ahead of us then. Act one. Hatched from stone eggs. Our journey begins at Flower Fruit Mountain, where our four rabbit heroes were born, each from a stone egg. Rabbit Tripitaka, Rabbit Pixie, Rabbit Sandy, and the Rabbit Monkey King. But who will be the king of the mountain? Guess we'll have to find out. So yeah, I think this should be a bunch of like of mini games and stuff like that. We'll find out as we head into free for all. <laughs> so we have all these different characters, pretty cool. Don't fall off the cliff. Survival guide. Okay, so yeah, you can see how this works. So we can just sort of move up and down all around. And I guess that's the only thing we have to do. So I'm ready. Everybody else is ready. Let's go for it. <laughs> okay, it's already so silly. And that's sort of the fun thing about rabbit games is that they are just so silly and ridiculous. So I'm the blue one on the top left. Three, two, one. 
Start! Oh, so I'm rolling. Oh man. So I just gotta knock them off. Okay, well there's one. Oh, but it looks like we have a certain amount of health too. Oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. See ya. Come on. So far we haven't lost any health, but some some of the rabbits have lost a couple of points, so it's always good. The controls are a little bit difficult. There's a lot of weight to it. Oh, the outer rim is about to fall off. Come on. There you go. We'll oh, see ya. So now we have a good lead. So I think we'll be okay. Oh, set you flying. That was good. Oh man, before they even had a chance. Come on. Got it. And you? I think you're the last one. Yes, there's just meat and green. Come on, come on. Not bad, just one more time. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 come on, I wanna get through without losing any hearts. There we go, we win. Perfect victory. That was awesome. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And as you can see, you get a bunch of books, plus five of them for getting through that. Hello, heroes. This is your enlightened level, or enlightenment level. The scores you get will be added to it, and when it is full, you will level up and unlock more characters and mini games. Okay. So I guess we got some more experience for that. We're still level one, of course, but we'll get through it. Okay, so loading into our next area now with that completed hatch from Stone Eggs. Shimmering light from inside a cracked rock egg catches your attention. We get the stone egg of the hero. A few strands of monkey hair can be seen. Is that a good thing or a gross thing? I don't know. Um, but as you can see, we do get all those extra books, which will definitely go to help. And we're in first place. So moving on to the next one, catapult to kinghood. The heroes discover the water curtain cave. Whoever gets there first will be declared king. But how to reach it? The rabbits have an idea. Time to fly the friendly skies. Okay, so another mini game. This one has to do with flying around. The next winner must show off their best rabbit shout. Blah. All right, so we're heading back into it. Lift the plunger as close to the 0.0, .0 mark as you can. Oh, so I guess, yeah, it's all about perfect timing. Okay, I think I get the idea. This one might be a bit challenging, but hopefully we get more than one try. Okay, so I'm on the left. Okay, so we just have to wait until it reaches. Oh, I don't know, I think number two might have beat me. Yeah, number two beat me. Okay, so I did a little too soon, that's okay. Do we get more than one try? Yeah, we're on two out of five. So as long as we're consistent with it, I think we'll be okay. Really, it seems like the, the key to this one is just to do it last, you know? As long as we do it last, we're fine. I don't know if we can go past the time now, you know? That wasn't so bad. Ooh, okay, point three oh six. So that was three of five. Come on, let's keep burning those points. What do we get that time? 0.322, it's hard to get under. Whoa, somebody beat us, they got 0.175. We're still in the lead though. I might have been too late, that's sort of what I've been worried about. No, whoa, 0 0.012, oh my goodness. That was definitely the closest I've gotten. So let's finish with that, that'll be another victory for us. And we almost got to level two, so some great progress there. Try winning with your eyes closed. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, but there we go, act one, we're making some progress. So there's 11, I guess, mini games to get through in act one. Maybe that's what we'll do in today's videos, we'll get through act one. Uh, but next up we have the open sea. The heroes leave Flower Fruit Mountain to continue their journey, but have to stop when they come to the ocean. Okay, so. Let's see what we can do here. How will you cross the ocean? Build a raft using sling, slingshot or swim. Uh, I'm a little confused. I guess with each one, it's sort of a game of chance. So you choose, I chose the one on the left building a raft, which is the most logical, but gives me a 50-50 chance of either getting nothing or getting two. So I stop the wheel. And I get, oh no, oh no, no, no! 
You made it cross safely, but you had to eat your sandals so you wouldn't starve, so we get nothing. No. What about player number two? They are also going to get nothing. You got tossed around by some, okay, I couldn't see it, oh well. But what about here, the slingshot? Now this has a higher chance of getting something? Well, I guess it's still, but yeah, if you could land on negative one. A rabbit gives you his sacred books if you'll let him use something. They, they get plus four books here, which is pretty crazy. And then player three chose to swim, which gives the smallest chance of anything, but it is quite a large amount if they get it right. But risk versus reward, it looks like they didn't get much of a reward. Okay, so is that gonna be it? Do we all just get one try with this? I suppose so, that was the weirdest one yet. But we completed it, even if we didn't get much. Ain't scared of spicy food. The heroes arrive at the Temple of Perfect Awesomeness to learn magic. Master Puti teaches them to soar on the flying cloud, but our rabbit heroes prefer another method and are hot to try it out. So I guess we're just gonna eat some spicy food. Well, let's get to it. Team Dragon versus Team Tiger. So we are with Rabbit Shark Sandy. Seems good to me. Eat as many chilies as possible. Throw chilies to your teammate and rocks at your opponents. Throw or get ready. Okay, so I'm ready. So we're going to be up there and we just need to feed the teammates the peppers, but then throw the rocks to the right. So it's just left, right, left, right. Okay. So I'm ready. I know my, my part. And then the eaters get ready. Move around to eat the chilies and avoid rocks. Okay, so that makes sense. So I'll try to throw the rock over and as you can see, they just move. Okay, well let's get to it. Eat as many chilies as possible. So. So I'm just gonna throw all these chilies over, I guess, for right now. Yeah, this is a little tricky, but we can just throw so many chilies over. Okay, and yeah, what happens if I just throw an absolute ton of them? Oh no, I meant the, uh oh. Okay, it's fine. All right, so far so good. Oh no, I threw them a chili. But we're getting a lot of points just by throwing all these chilies. There we go. This one just requires a lot of focus though, so I might not be able to talk through it too much. Come on. Oh no, oh, I threw one on my own teammate again. That was a huge boulder there. Uh-oh. Come on. I think we did good, it's so hard to tell. There's so much going on. Oh, everybody's flying. Finish. So I think we won, I think we did good. Does it really even tell me? Whoa, here we go. We got 20,000 points. That is a major score and is going to get us to level two where we have new games unlocked, Aim Scared of Spicy Food completed. Next unlock is pulling the gold pillar. Nice. So I guess we unlocked that mini game for completing it. So with that done, as you can see, I get plus three bucks, which will definitely set me ahead a little bit, and number four is going to catch up a little too. The Dragon King. Whoa. Though skilled at magic, the heroes still need a weapon. They go to the castle to get one from the Dragon King. So that, I guess it's just some story stuff. Pulling the gold pillar. The Dragon King shows off the gold pillar, which steadies the Eastern Seas. The one to pull it out the fastest will become its rightful owner. Awesome. I guess we got some core challenges completed from whatever that is. So this one I'm guessing is gonna be similar to what we did before. Be the first to pull, to pull the gold pillar. Hold circle then move the left stick upwards as soon as you can. So I guess, yeah. Press circle and... Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Do I just, oh, I see, I have to press circle and press up every time. I'm not exactly sure 
what I'm doing. I'm just pressing circle and up over and over again, and that seems to be working quite well. Okay, I got a bonus. I'm a little confused by that one, but I just pressed up and circle at the same time, and that seemed to work pretty well. They are so far behind compared to me. All right, then I guess that means we did quite well. We can just relax or golden plunger. Not much more I can do here. That always feels good when you're so far ahead of the competition. We were super far ahead too, we just gotta wait. Okay, somebody else finished. But they only have a fraction of the score that we do. Okay, well there we go, we finished. And that is going to get us, I think, another five books, yep. Awesome. And that gets us a good chunk of the way through level two, so. Let's see what we have next. We are up to 18 books in total. So we have a significant lead compared to our competitors. Dance Battle by the Sea. Oh, this sounds like fun. Our heroes have done it. They have what they believe to be the gold pillar. They celebrate with a dance contest. Okay, cool. So, Team Dragon versus Team Tiger. We're back with Shark Sandy here. Dance to the beat. Move both left stick and right stick in the direction of the arrow in the beat. Okay, so that seems pretty simple. I'm ready. So far, I like these mini games though. They are just very straightforward and simple in a very fun way. But they're also just enjoyable to play. So let's give this a try. Okay, ready and up. This is so cool, this is a little dancing. We got some perfect combos coming in. Oh, the music is cool too. <laughs> Rabbits are getting down. Oh no, I messed up my perfect streak. Gets a little complicated. So far so good though, I think we're in the lead. I can't really check at the moment. Oh man. Oh, that was good though. Oh, we did so good. Oh man. That was complicated. I got a 24 perfect streak though. Yeah, we're definitely in the lead with points right now. Almost doubling them. But it's about to get difficult again. This goes on for a while too. This is the longest mini game yet. Can't really talk about it too much while we're playing because I'm very focused in. Oh, we're almost at 40. Whoa, okay. Awesome. We got a fever time. Just gotta spin, just gotta spin. All right, I'm going, I'm spinning. I'm spinning. This seems to be going pretty well. I got 79, oh my goodness. Very cool, very cool. And that's gonna be a finish for us. Whew. That one took a lot of energy, but it's definitely the most interesting one so far. We only get plus three books for our troubles instead of plus five, but I guess it's spread between the both of us. And we did get the level three, whatever that gets us, I'm not quite sure. But there we go, the uh, dance battle by the, what was it, the volcano? Something like that. But that was really cool, by the sea. It's completed, there you go. Sneak your way into the underworld. 
Armed with the gold pillar, the heroes return on the flying cloud to discover a friend was sent to the underworld. They decide to find the judge who sent him there, but they'll need to stay in shape to get it done. All right, let's try it out then. So, so far so good. We're sort of storming through this game, getting all the mini games done pretty well. Free for all. Okay, well, hopefully we can handle ourselves then. Draw the shape you see before the wall hits you. Hold circle and move the left stick to draw the shape. Okay. So I just gotta move down and draw the shape. I, I get the idea. That might be a little tricky at some spots, but I'll certainly try it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Draw the shape you see before the wall hits you. Okay. Oh man, we're falling. So just gotta do this. Perfect, okay, I see, it, it's a pretty simple gesture. What do we have next? Okay, now it's just horizontal. Very good, I guess it could have been better, but that's all right. I don't know if I have to draw it over my rabbit or not. Maybe I should try that. There you go, that's a perfect. Uh-oh, they didn't do so good. Whoa, look at these guys. Oh man. Okay, now it's an L. Uh, that was apparently a perfect. It's difficult on an analog stick. I wonder if this would be easier with touch controls. That was good, that was good. Whoa, that was close. Ah. Okay, okay. This is goes starts going by really fast. Somehow I'm getting perfect still. What was he? There you go. Oh man, did I not get it there? Not bad, apparently. How is that? Oh man, I'm cracking under the pressure. It goes so fast. But I did get the highest score, almost 10,000 points. Wow, we still get scorched up by the lava by the end of it. Oh man. Well, that is another five bucks. So I will happily take those. Oh, now we're level three. I guess I didn't quite reach it before. So pulling the gold pillar is now unlocked our new game. Very nice, very nice. So while we're playing these mini games in the main adventure mode, I guess we still have to unlock some of them. So that's where the level ups come in. Okay, so we're staying way ahead of the competition, which is always good. And now we have reaching the judge's courtroom. We have another roulette one. After arriving in the underworld, the heroes discover a heavily guarded building and decide that the judge must be inside. Okay. So we'll go and talk to the judge a little bit here. Maybe get our friends back from the underworld. We need to reach the judge's courtroom, but how? Send in a rabbit decoy to battle or disguise yourself as the judge. I like the third one. But if we want to do the highest chance of actually getting something, I think we want to go with the center one. Yep. Okay, everybody else is still choosing. They're going for, they're all going on on the full risk. I don't need to do the full risk now. So we're just gonna hit it and hope for the best and hope it's not minus two this time. Please, please, plus four. Yeah, there we go. The judge is impressed by your bravery and gives you some sacred books he was going to donate to a yard sale anyway. Anyhow. Awesome, so that's gonna get us to 30 books. And what about you guys? You're gonna disguise yourself as the judge. Will you get the plus six or will it be a minus two? Oh my goodness, they're gonna get the plus six. A tired guard who has been working toward accidentally takes you as the, the library person. Okay, that's gonna make them jump up pretty big, but they're still only halfway to what we have. Will they all get plus six just to make me look silly? I think so. Oh, uh, no, they don't. They get minus two. You trip on your costume and it rips. Everyone sees your underwear. Oh no. Okay, two more left. Will they get the plus six? Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, they will, look at you. The judge loves your costume. So they'll jump up pretty high. I think they're going to take, well, they're gonna keep third place, but they'll jump up pretty far with it. So that's pretty good. Oh man, so this gets pretty intense pretty fast. There's different ways to switch up the gameplay and catch up a little. But over this way, we have painting the books of destiny. After listening to the rabbits, the judge leaves early for lunch. He decides to have the Book of Destiny choose their fate. Thankfully, the rabbits have a plan to write their own chapter. Awesome, so let's go and try this one. So the free for all, again, I don't really know which minigame this is gonna be. Shoot as many books as you can. 
Move the left stick to aim and press circle to shoot the bucks. Oh wow, okay, so it's just a little firing mini game. I got it, I got it. I think we can handle this, no problem. Whoa, shoot as many books as you can. This seems cool. So where are those books at? Three, two, one, and start. Oh, there's one. Okay, they are everywhere, actually. Wow, okay. This cursor doesn't really move too fast, but there are golden books, which seem to give extra points that we can focus on, too. Got it. Oh, there's another golden book. I think focusing on the center area is the best for right now because of how slow the cursor can move at times. I'll just keep firing as fast as I can and try to get rid of some of these, but I guess I can hit them, too. Ooh, get that golden one. Awesome. And so far, I think we're in the lead for points. We're at halftime. Ah, hey, move it. <laughs> get out of here. Was that a big rabbit or was he just in front of the camera by a lot? Come on. That's another one. A couple more golden ones over this way, but I think I, yeah, I missed them. Unfortunate. Yeah, the golden books definitely seem to be worth focusing because they're twice as much. Whoa, big book. Hitting this one as much as I can. Got it, whoa. Tons of golden ones. Excellent. So that's over 15,000 points. We finish as the leader in this one. Always good to see. Okay. So once again, another five bucks for us, and we get closer to level four. Probably gonna take us another mini game or two. So as you can see, that is going to be 35 bucks. It looks like there's some placements changing up for second and third. A job in paradise is our next one. The rabbits at the dragon's castle and the underworld complain to the Jade Emperor, who gives the heroes jobs at the horse barn of paradise. The rabbits think they're going to ride horses all day. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I think the job to care for them means they're gonna clean up after them and such. The horse master. Okay, here we go. At the horse barn of paradise, the rabbits discover that their job is not to ride horses, but to feed them and clean out of the barn. Bored, they come up with a way to make their jobs a little more fun. So let's see what this is about. An extensive thumb warm-up goes a long way. It does if you have th thumbs, but missing out on that one. Okay, so we're teaming up with Jade Princess this time. Bring hay to the paradise pony. Move the hay to carry it and feed the paradise pony. So yeah, I guess we just move back and forth, grab some and bring it back. The pony is just another rabbit though. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, I guess where the hay is, we'll move around a little bit and there's maybe different obstacles we need to avoid, but we can also dash forward, which the game didn't really tell us about. Uh, okay, ready. Hey, hey, knocked me off! What a jerk! Okay, you know, I'm gonna do the same thing. Aw, oh, to you, it didn't quite work. Uh, there we go, send him flying. This is tricky so far. Uh, okay, buddy. So we haven't gotten any points, which is really not good. Come on, come on, don't knock me off. Got it. So far, this is really challenging. This might be the first minigame we end up losing at this rate. No, he knocked me off again, what a jerk. Okay, no, no, no. I gotta go over here and then just try to avoid them. They're falling off like crazy, but no, you got them to come over here. Okay, now might be a good time to play goalie and just send you flying. No, it gets you out of here. Grab this. And we're turning this around, if I can. No, 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 darn. Yeah, you go in, and then I'll grab this. Oh, come on, I hit him and it sent me flying. What kind of baloney is that? Oh, I, I did not see myself there, I, I just fell off. Come on. So we wanna keep with player three. This player three is our teammate. Come on, one, come on, ah, oh, wait, did we win? Time's up, I think we won. The, the queen was able to get it for us right at the last moment. Wow, what a move by them, our teammates saved us. That's awesome to see, I wasn't so good at that mini game. The horse master completed though, sneak your way into the underworld is our next uh, game unlocked, which is pretty cool for leveling up. So with that done, we're heading to the right for now. Got some extra books for us. It wouldn't have been the end of the world if we uh, didn't get the books there. But we have eight out of 11 for act one, a big promotion. 
Realizing they would rather be poor than clean a horse barn, the rabbits leave, but the Jade Emperor gets them back by hiring them to guard the peach farm of paradise. Okay, so we're moving from one job to the next, the Peach Festival. After making a delicious pie, the rabbits are out of peaches of paradise. They go to a festival to get more, pretending to be waiters, but do they have what it takes to do the job? I guess we'll find out. So, so far so good. So another free for all mini game. Deliver the most peaches of paradise. Move left stick to move the character. So we're just moving through the, uh, the, the carpet, I guess. Yeah, we're just trying to balance all the peaches and stuff. Okay. I don't know why I keep getting challenges done randomly like that, but it is what it is. So deliver the most peaches. Okay, so where am I? Good question. Here I am. So I guess we, whoa, the controls are a little weird. Oh, but I dropped one. So I guess we just have to be careful with it, or we're gonna end up dropping some. And the other rabbits are gonna try to knock into me. Darn, so I dropped one there. Uh-oh. I guess we'll try to move slower. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. I think it's much better instead of getting there sooner. <laughs> they, they just knocked it all off the table anyways. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta pay attention to the tower itself. Got it. Okay, now I'm really jumping ahead. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. It is not really about who's the fastest, it's about who's the most careful. Obviously, the faster you go with that, the better, but you can see them making a huge mess at the moment. Oh no. Come on, got it. Only, well, why is it glowing? I don't know why it's glowing. Uh, I guess things are picking up, they're getting a little crazier. But there's a bunch more. We are super duper far ahead of the competition though, so I guess it's not really too much to worry about. If they're bouncing into me though, it means I drop a bunch too. <laughs> oh man, can we get the 10,000 points again? That'd be great. Oh no, come on. Oh, you know what, the wall disappeared, so it gives us more room to sneak through, that's what happened. Come on, slow and steady, slow and steady. Got it. We are over 12,000 points now. I might be able to get one more. Five, four, three. Got it. Okay, yeah, really good score, it seems. Time's up. And as you can see, that is another bundle of books for us. The Peach Festival completed. Looking good. I guess a tough opponent awaits us in this act as well, according to that loading screen, so that's cool. We're up to over 40 books now. We have a whole library's worth, it feels like. The Fugitives. Oh, we get another one of these. After ruining the Peach of Paradise Festival, the rabbits are hated. Everyone in paradise is hot on their heels. Okay, so they're after us. They're not so happy. While running from the Paradise Army, you end up in a wizard's lab. What do you do? Hide in a giant pot, have some lava cake of everlasting life, or make a mess. Okay, so for this one, I'll go a little bit riskier. Hey, wait, they knocked me. You can just do that? Wait a minute, I can force you to go to the less optimal one. That's interesting, I hadn't even realized. So we're going to hide in a giant pot, or at least no, they are. Will they get the plus three though? They actually will. Hmm. But, we're not gonna worry about that too much. We're just going to worry about this one, have some lava cake of everlasting life, and hope we actually end up getting a good deal here. It's gonna be close, but we get the plus four. You feel strong, you save a rabbit trap under a giant pot and are rewarded. You didn't even break a sweat. So that gets us up to 47 already. What about the other rabbit? Will you get the same deal, or will you get the minus two? Oh, it looks like it's just barely gonna be minus two. Yikes. And what about the last rabbit over this way? Make a mess. Will you be able to get the plus five or will this be a minus two? We hit the rabbit over this way, so they were sort of forced to and it looks like they get the minus two. You knock the giant pot over, but are trapped underneath it. Okay, well, that's gonna be the finish there.
And with that done, the fugitives, we can move over here to the Erlang Commands All. The Rabbids return to the Flower Fruit Mountain. The Paradise Army and their leader, Erlang, quickly catch up to them. Erlang demands that the heroes follow his orders. Well, we'll see about that. Rabbids aren't very good at following orders. Uh, mostly because they don't understand them quite well. So what's going on with this minigame then? Move the left stick in the direction of the arrow. Okay. Actually, oh, so I see. Maybe this minigame is just sort of like Simon Says in a way. We just gotta move it in whatever direction it says. A lot of these minigames are really simple. Move left stick in the direction of the arrow. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, we can do this. Three, two, one, and go. So whatever you say, we gotta repeat. Down, got it. So I guess if we're first, that might be for the best. And I can use the directional pad as well, which is usually much faster. Got it. Oh, whoa, they got me with that one. Just pay attention to the arrow itself, not the direction of the sign. Okay. Now it's moving faster and faster. Oh boy. Whoa. Where'd it go? Okay. Up. Left. Up. Down. Up. Oh man. Oh man. It's moving fast. Ah! Wait. Okay. So I guess we did win. It didn't feel like we were in the lead, but I suppose we, we succeeded. If that works, it works. So I got 23 out of 25. Okay, yeah, they didn't do nearly as well then. So that's some pretty good stuff there. And I think that means there's one more act left in this level, or in this, or one more level left in this act. We're over 50 books now. Let's see what's going on up here. The Punishing Palms. Our heroes are captured and thrown into a giant pot in the wizard's lab. It only makes them stronger, however. It's a good thing, because the Awakened One is not happy with them. Here comes the Smackdown, watch out! So we get times two the amount of books for surviving this one? A pigsy won't let his allergies bother him. Good to know. Oh man. Avoid the falling palms. So we can move and we can battle player? Okay, so how do we battle another player? I guess we don't get to see here. Maybe I could push the other players under the palms? That'll be interesting. Oh my. Whoa. So I'm on the top left. Avoid the falling palms. This is gonna be intense, isn't it? Okay, so. Yeah, we can attack each other. Whoa. No, no, no. Hold on. Ah, oh, couldn't quite hit you over there. So nobody has lost any health just yet. But just by playing, oh, the avoiding game, we might be able to do something. No, no, no. Nobody got hit by that one. Ooh, almost. They are everywhere now. But we can't just get through this by, there we go, there we go. Ooh, that didn't, okay, hit one of them. We can't just win this by avoiding everything. We need to make sure we're actually hitting the opponents. This one could actually take a while. Somehow that didn't hit you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, we all avoided it by the end. And not too many people have taken damage here. No. Oh, that got me, darn. Okay, so I'm squished at the moment. Now it's getting really crazy, too. They're all in that corner, so. Yeah, once again, it's not really avoiding too much. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. That got some of them. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't get hit. I didn't get hit. No, 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 wait, wait. Run. Where am I? I'm over here. Get over there. I hit them, but it didn't really, it went through. Come on, come on, stay up here. Got it. Ooh, that squished one of them. This is getting crazy. No, come on. You're kidding me. Okay, somehow I survived that, actually. I didn't take any damage. Okay, so one of them is knocked out for good, so I guess they're just flying to the side. But maybe they could still participate Try not to get too distracted. Come on. Ah, oh, I tried to hit him and end up just getting squished instead. No, they pushed me again, I was still recovering. That's not fair. Oh, no, not gonna work. This is very tough so far. 
I only have one hit point left, so I need to be very careful. No, the yellow guy got me. Okay, so I'm out. That's unfortunate. So it looks like the red one won just barely. That's okay, you can't win them all, right? That was our first mini game we've lost in the entire video, so I'll take it. We still get plus two. And we get to level five, which will unlock a new game, Painting the Books of Destiny. Awesome. So we're still making progress. It's not the end of the world. But I think that's the first act completed. Whoa. Yeah, would you look at that? We are the winner of Act One with 54 books in total. Congratulations, you successfully completed Act One. So we can go to the next act or go back to the main menu. For today's video, we're going to go back to the main menu. So there was a look at the adventure mode in Rabbids Party Legends, there or Party of Legends. Very cool game. I definitely like it a lot. We could play some more of it if you guys want to see more episodes and turn this into a full series. Definitely let me know and maybe we can continue adventure mode. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.